Okay, in um, this video, uh, I am going to show you how to create a quick mask in Illustrator. All right, okay, so uh, what you're looking at right now is basically a 8.5 by 11 document with two shapes on them. One is a green circle and the other, of course, a blue rectangle. So what I want to do is I want the blue rectangle to actually be the masking item. So when you want to have a masking item, the, act, the masking item has to sit on top of the item that it's going to mask. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to tap on the blue frame. I'm going to go up to Object. I'm going to drop down to uh, Arrange. And I'll say Bring to Front. So now I have the blue rectangle on top of the green frame. Then I'm going to select both of them. Once I select both of them, I go up to Object, drop down to Clipping Mask, and say Make. Now at that point, the frame masked the actual circle. So now what I want to do with the um, with the um, Direct Selection tool, I am going to click off so nothing is selected, swipe just the rectangle, and then fill that with the blue shape. So now what happens now is I have this rectangle that's actually the masking item. And what I can do is I can actually move this whole thing around as a unit, or if I use the direct selection tool, click on the actual frame itself and move around just the frame. So you can see it's 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 actually masking, it's it's moving around and it's keeping the circle in place, but it's showing you that it can mask anywhere. All right. So now we have that, we have this blue frame as a masking item. All right. And let's see how we can use that in other applications. So let's say, for example, we want to take this and we want to put this in, say, InDesign. All right. And you might say, well, there's a lot of white space around it. You don't want all that white space, you just want the actual graphic, no problem. So let's go over to, I'm going to go over to my InDesign document. And then I'm going to, well, the first thing I'm going to do is I make sure I have to, I have to make sure I save that Illustrator file. So let me come back to Illustrator and make sure I save it because right now it's not saved. So I'll save it and I'll just save it. I'll call it Mask and I'll save it to my desktop. Mask. And it'll be an AI file. All right, I'll say OK. OK, so now I have this Mask AI file saved to my desktop. Okay, now next up, I'm going to go over to my InDesign doc, all right, and then I'm going to go File, Place, File, Place, and at this point, I can navigate my way down to the Mask AI, put this over here, open it up, and then if I just click and drop, it'll bring it in at same size. If I click and drag, I can scale it. So I'll just do a click and drop, so it comes in at same size, and as you can see, it only brought in the image. It didn't bring in all that extra white space. All right. And let's say, for example, I want to use this in Photoshop. So now I'm going to go over to my Photoshop file and I'll say open. Okay. And then and, and come here. Let's see. Open. All right. Now I'm going to navigate my way to my mask illustrator file. And even though it's an illustrator file, it's going to, it's going to rasterize it to bring it into uh, Photoshop. Now you have options. If you're going to use Photoshop, you, if you bring it in with the bounding box, it'll bring in just the image. If I were to use the trim box, you can see it'll bring in all of that white space. It'll bring in the entire page. So really, we want to bring in just the bounding box. And you can bring it in at any uh, resolution. I'll bring it in 300. It's a pretty high res, so it'll be nice and sharp. And I'll say OK. And so voila, here you have it. You have the actual image, just the image. Uh, with the clipping mask masking the circle. All right, so that's how you can create a clipping mask in Illustrator. And then once you've done that, you can export it out so that you could use it in other applications, whether it's InDesign or Photoshop or whichever other Adobe or image-based application you may have. Okay, hopefully that helps.